So now we talk about in the Armas Cali curriculum for our beliefs, it's function, then fancy, right? Function, then fancy. Application, then attribute. So right away we're looking at the application. When you guys start looking at this stuff, you're looking at application. When you're looking at hitting the hand immediately and then coming back in and thrusting the knife, you're looking at application. Does he have to have weapons for me to do this? No, I'd prefer he didn't. I'd prefer that I be the guy with the weapons and come in and get them. Right, so that's important to understand. Now, um, I've been to quite a few Guru Dan seminars over 10 years. And Guru Dan will talk about how a lot of people think that the Espada Adaga is not a relevant uh, training system or weapon system in the United States. He says, but in places in you know, Southeast Asia and other countries, um, this, is still, this is still very much. Um, and, I, and I think personally that this is still very much um, a weapon system that has its place in the United States as well. Not only does it teach you footwork, teach you coordination, teach you to deal with weapons of unequal length, get you moving in a way that, that is, is difficult for people, get you moving in a way that allows you to quickly adjust for other things. Those are all great, those are all attributes. But I was mulling over this question in my mind and uh, about two years ago, I'm at uh, the print shop, we're getting some flyers made and I'm waiting around, I'm waiting around and um, they had like a PVC pipe that had paper rolled around it that had been all used up. So I'm picking up this pipe and I'm just kind of playing around, sitting next to the printing machine, just sort of waiting, you know, and I look over and there's this great big long pair of scissors. So, oh, so I grab the scissors, you know, I'm sitting here with this piece of PVC pipe and these scissors, I'm just, and I'm thinking, yeah, this is sweet, but yeah, I don't know when I would ever have it They're right here in my hands. Yeah, I'm not carrying around a rattan stick and a dagger. I got a PVC pipe and a pair of scissors, and I can use the exact same techniques. So really, it's about adaptation. It's about, and it's just like we, we talked about that, you know, the single stick. It can be a stick, you know, but it could be anything. It could be a dowel. It could be an ice scraper. It could be a, you know, a rolled up newspaper. It could be a, a grill brush. It could be whatever you need. I can think right now, if I go out to my grill, I've got a grill brush, and I got this little metal hook thing that picks up the grates. That's a spot of a daga right there. 